It's just a draw, though. That's just a draw. I have no time. I can't. I, if I was up 10 seconds, I could try to flag. Oh, he wants to try to flag me? We win. Keep going. Let's play. Uh, let's play back to our regular. Let's go. G6, Bishop G7. Should take the draw, dude. Take the draw. So what happens when you don't take the draw? You get punished. All right, I scored five and a half, one and a half. I gained a whopping one point, which was very impressive. All right, I guess I'll take and go here in knight of six. All right, he's going to play this line. Um, I'm going to play e6 here. All right, let's see. I can play knight of six here. I can also play... Yeah, let's just go here. Play like queen c7, knight of six. All right, I guess I'm just going to castle here. Right. I think I can go b5 and knight of... Oh, but he's got... It's actually a little bit shaky here. I'm going to go g6. This might not be great. Go rook e8. Maybe bishop b7, c5. All right. I think I have to play for... Fa I've got to get c5 in fast here. If I don't get c5 in fast, I'm in trouble. I got to get in fast play. Okay, I'm willing to gamble the pawn. I just I have to go for fast play here on the on the on the king side. What kind of special brain do you have to become? Oh my gosh, he's got queen f6. Oh, he misses it. I just realized there was some big danger there. Uh, if I take take bishop e5 takes. Wait a second, I have to be very careful how I do this. Wait, I have to be very very careful. I just realized. Um, take. There's no mate, right? Takes. I just take. Queen d4. I have e5. I got to be very careful here. Could I lose here? Yeah, of course I could lose here. I can lose any game, you guys. Oh, is it Bishop G7? He does have Bishop G7. I didn't even see Bishop G7, honestly. But I guess I have H5, and I'm kind of just barely hanging by, by, by a single thread on my chin. Can I give you a neuron? Uh, that's not really how it works. Brain transfer is not available in the 20th, 21st century. Maybe by the 23rd century, it'll be possible, but not at the moment. Yeah, it's not possible yet. By the 23rd century, maybe it will be possible. I mean, this looks so bad. I think I can hang, though, by a thread still. If he takes, I just take. And then queen g5, I have knight f8 and e5. So he goes to f4, which I think is a very bad move. Because now I can trade the bishops. I think after f4, he just threw away all of his real attack. He still has play, but I think his his real attack just died right right here. What? Oh, does he just have a draw with bishop g6? Wait, but I take and go here. Because queen g5, that's not right. Because now I have knight f8. Queen g5 is a big mistake. Yeah, now I'm going to win the... I think I'm going to win the game here. Let's just be... I got to be very careful. But I just take... Oh my gosh, I missed Bishop F5. Oi, oi, oi. Queen G7. No, it doesn't work. I'm covering everything here. Do one. Okay, but I just go... Go to E7 here. Now... Oh, he's got Queen G... Oh, wait, no, now... Oh, wait, I thought I'd check, but I still don't. Somehow this is still very, very tricky. I don't understand this. How's this so tricky?
Rook C7, Rook E7, trade on fine. Rook C7, Rook E7, Rook E1. 8, I think I'm fine. Rook E7, Rook E7, Queen F4, takes there, takes, takes. Got this, but I just take. And I go here and takes, and I'm fine. He moves the bishop anywhere else. I mean, I just take on... If he goes E4, I take on D4, and I'm fine. Takes. But now, take. I go here, and I take, and now I win the game. There we go. One up, one one down. Thank you to L Last F Folk NYC for the prime. Thank you, Joni Fra for the 15th. And... Uh, wait, let's rematch. And, um, and Ant Spurdero for the 12 months. Thank you so much. All right, you guys, we're on the road. We're 97 points away from our all-time high. Can we get there today? Or am I going to lose two games and lose 30 points and end the day? Uh, let's go Bishop B5. I'm on fire. Yeah, I'm on fire, but I'm gaining plus two. So I basically have to be, like, I have to be man on fire today and be perfect. Or else I'm going to, like, I'm going to slip for two games and bye-bye rating. I mean, if I don't go basically perfect, I'm going to lose rating points. Uh, F5 is interesting. I had this against... I, I used to... I think I played a tournament in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, when, when was it? It was some time ago. Uh, maybe in like 2004. Actually, no. It was a tournament that Benjamin Feigl beat my stepfather. And somebody played this weird Knight H6 against me. And it really confused me at the time. Um, I wasn't able to adequately play against... I won the game, of course, because I'm, I'm, I was just a better player. But... Let's go A3, B4. But I, I got in trouble in that game. I want to go a3 b4 probably okay that's a mistake i go queen h4 now we have the reversed uh reverse sicilian or the reverse english that i had against ildar ilber ildar ilbergima or ibergima i think it was um in he's got queen g4 so it's not quite the same but it's very similar to a game i had against ildar ibergima in um in the in the world open many years ago it's queen g4 unfortunately so it doesn't quite work uh, i can just trade to go 96 no i don't like it let's go queen e1 I go here. I have bishop e3. I've got knight e2. Queen h5 is a strange move. Um, uh, he's got tricks, though. Maybe I just go h3 anyway. Yeah, let's just go h3. I'm going to ask him what he's doing here. Like, is he... Oh, I had rook f3, rook h3. So stupid. It was knight of seven. Okay, I guess I have to go knight e6 now. Um, rook c1. I mean, this looks terrible for black. I have f5 maybe. Yeah, let's just go f5 and attack him. Go g5. Wow, very bold. Um, I have knight e2 maybe. I mean, this looks terrible for black, but I actually realized I've, I also have to be careful too. Yeah, I have to be very careful too. I'm going to go here. Don't tell me I just blundered. I did just blunder. Yeah, I just blundered this. I guess I have bishop f4 or something. I'm trying to get really complicated here and make this weird. F3, g3. If he trades, I guess I just take. It was knight h6. That's actually kind of a weird move to me. Although maybe a very good move with that. Let's go f6. I guess I'll take. I guess see. I guess I go g3 here to go knight d5 or knight d3. What's that do? That does nothing. Okay, he just blundered. He gave me knight d5. Now my now I got the jumbo ponies. Where do I take? I guess I take this way. Must be right. gonna be hard to win this i guess i'll check and try to keep pe i'm gonna try to keep pieces on the board here Maybe knight d3 trying to keep more try i'm trying to keep all the pieces on keep all the all of these knights on the board okay that doesn't really worry me i guess i'll just go here in h4 maybe i've got to keep these knights on because if i trade even one knight it's gonna be very hard to win take with the King, maybe not right. Okay, let's go back. Ah, knight c7, maybe. Ack. Or not, no. I'm insane. Okay, let's go here. Knight of 5 maybe.
Wait, if I take on e5 and take on d6. So let's take. Do I trade or not is the question. Take six. I'm gonna trade. I'm thinking I'm taking way too much time, though. I gotta go quicker. I might lose this game. I'm going all in here. Here. Do I have 93 or something? draw if i had been faster i would have won this game oh yeah yeah i gave him 90 oh yeah, yeah i just have to make the draw wait there is no draw wait it's just a draw though I just draw. I have no time. I can't. I, if I was up 10 seconds, I could try to flag. But oh, he wants to try to flag me? going let's play uh let's play back to our regular let's go g6 bishop g7 Should take the draw dude take the draw so what happens when you don't take the draw you get punished That's what happens. Yeah. Yeah. The punishment was swift. Actually, I made a mistake. I had this against Ali Reza in the bullet sometime back. This is a mistake by me. But you know what? Let's try to be funky here and go F6 and try to get away with this. I mean, I don't know if this is good or not, but let's try to be funky. Oh, this, I, this might actually, I might've just lost. I miss Bishop G5. Uh, yeah. Why did I do this? I just forgot he could go Bishop G5. Do I have Queen F6 here? Wait a second, though. I do have moves. Wait, let's let's not lose our mind immediately. I go here and here. Yeah, it's just losing, though. I mean, this, this must be losing. Yeah, I, I just blitz out H5. It's supposed to just go E6. So the one time that I try to blitz out a move, and it's just idiotic. He doesn't take advantage. He missed He missed a win here for sure. Oh, he's knight A4 even? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is so gross. I'm going to have to pull a miracle out of my hat, which I don't have. Go here. Takes I can take, I guess. I mean... He's got some knight a4 thing after which I'm getting absolutely crushed. But he goes knight a4 right away. I thought maybe here I had some in-between move. Like maybe like a queen a5 or some like knight a5 or something. I thought I might have some move here, but maybe I just lose anyway. Oh, it's just it's just mate in one. Yeah. Not have done that. Why did I do this at all? Like so stupid of me. Why did I why did I play H5 instantly? I mean that's just so ridiculous by me to do that. Like there's just no need for it. I mean playing completely fine chess and then I, then like I just I panic and play a wrong move order. I mean, it's just so stupid. So E4. Why did I go H5? That's ridiculous. 
what D4 and takes. Play knight g2 and a3. And that, that, that's why actually this rating is so frustrating because like one mistake, like the one slip up there by me and it's, it's all okay. I also have kind of misplayed this opening. Let's have some fun though. One mistake and just like that, it's all gone. That That's why, that's why it's, I mean, this rating, I was not joking when I said that I have to basically be perfect. If I'm not perfect at this rating, I'm going to lose, I'm going to lose a boatload of points. Okay. I'm going to go Bishop C4. He goes E5. Of course, that's a good move. And I, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. Not tilted, but I just flipped a move for no reason. They can go here, I guess. Get castles and prey, basically. I get castle. Oh, but even castles is no good. Even castles is some stupid queen a2 or something. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. What a disaster. Get careless for one game and now it tilts me. Maybe I have some hope with bishop f4. He's going to take. I go bishop f4. It's queen a2. That's a mistake, by the way. D5. Oh, he's got rook d8, and I, oh, of course. I have, no, I don't have c4. Do I have this in here, and here, and here, maybe? I'm sure I'm losing somehow. Oh wait, no, I've got knight b1. Wait, I'm a more, I'm a, I'm a total moron. Knight b1, knight a5. Wait. Go here. Oh, he's got knight d4. No. Wait, no. Takes takes queen e2, takes queen e5, queen c7. Maybe not so bad. Wait a second. Okay, but knight b1's the only move anyway. So it's... Oh, wait, no. I can take and take. Oh, wait. No, this is very tricky. Wait a second. I'm, I'm overthinking all of this. He does find knight d4. Ug. Go here. I have bishop c5, maybe. Let's go here. Only, only try for me. Calm down and chill, yeah. Thank you to Shire for the prime. Thank you so much to Emma Fallen for the 15. Okay, but now I take and I take and okay, we're back in the game. I'm probably better even. I can play b3 to try and trap his queen in the corner here. I can also just take. I mean, this looks correct. I'm just up a pawn here. Let's go here and knight c3, and now I'm now I'm completely fine. Do I go b3 or not? Is a question. My instinct says yes. My gut says no. Let's go knight c3. Trust my instincts and go like I'm better here. Now I just have to find the way to win. That's all I have to do here. Let's go here. Go here. King is safe. King safety is very important here. Now I go here. And he has to trade because I have queen d8 and he has to deal with the ice skater. And g5. Okay, but now I go f4. Queen h4. Like, okay, I mean, I'm definitely winning. I just need to be smart about how I do this. Let's go here. Threaten checkmate. He's got a, he's got a big problem with his king too. He goes h5. I mean, I can play on passant even. How do I win this cleanly? Let's just be smart with rook d2. I'm down a lot of time somehow as well, I just realized. Not quite sure how I end up down all this time, but I am down. Okay. Um. Yeah, I've misplayed this somehow. Okay, let's go. Wait, no, g6 is insane. Why am I even thinking about that move? Knight e2, queen. Let's go here. I want to go knight d4. Take. Take the pawn. Okay, he's he's definitely lost the thread now, so I'm, I'm just clearly better. Go here, but I am down on time. I'm down on time, so I need to be smart. Shoot, what am I doing? And I just hung a pawn. I'm just throwing this game away. here and here maybe although the king h7 was a very poor move by him very very poor uh shoot it's still very tricky let's go here i'm, I'm way too slow on the clock too. i gotta speed up i gotta be a lot faster go here force a trade this 
must be winning. My pawns must be quicker. Uh, I gotta move. I gotta move. I gotta go. What am I doing? He blunders though. Dude, what am I doing? It's a draw. Frustrating. Very frustrating. I should have won that game. I was too slow at the critical moments. Very, very frustrating game. Very frustrating. If I'd been faster, I would have won that game. Very frustrating. Uh, I'm taking the B pawn. Taking with the D pawn is better, but I'm taking the D the D pawn. Okay, what's the move here? C3. I mean, there are many different options here. Knight H6 is an option with F5. I play this one and just takes an F5. Okay, let's go f5 e5 knight f7 this is actually a line that i won with many many times ago do i want another way to victory i want to play better chess i mean i should have won that game i was just clearly better he plays h3 i mean this is all this is all actually mainline theory now i mean h6 and g5 is move bishop b7's move c5's move i'm gonna play the i'm gonna play this one this is not actually this is what i won my last actual i think classical chess victory was with this opening in um isle of man in 2019. okay this guy seems to know the line unfortunately I'm gonna go e6 and just g5 here. I'm gonna go g5, g4. I'm just gonna attack. I know technically speaking, this is actually not great for black, but I'm, okay, it goes there. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go all in. I'm just gonna attack him. G4, knight e5. See what his idea is. Last classical game I won was against, um, was against, uh, I think it was Alexei Kovalev. Or no, it was Vladislav Kovalev from Bulg uh, from Belarus, I think, was, was where he's from. And um, it was in this opening. It was in the Isle of Man 2019 round nine, I think it was, out of 11. He goes F3. This, of course, is just losing. I have knight C4. And now he's just, everything's under fire. Yeah, that's GG. I wonder if you'll save all that Riga prep for later or will you see some of it in streams. No, you won't see it in streams. You might see it in Meltwater when that returns in February. But you're not going to see it in these streams. No, I mean, I, I I do not play my main openings um, in these events. Okay, he goes 92. I mean, of course, that doesn't work, but I don't want to be careless here. This guy's shown an amazing resiliency to find moves um, out of thin air. Or, yeah, he's been able to pull moves out of thin air. Okay, wait. I can go bishop d5. I just I know I'm winning. I just don't want to mess this up. Let's just go here and give him the pawn. I'm not worried. Takes king h8. I mean, I trust this king is too weak. Although, honestly, I feel like I might have already misplayed this again. This guy's very good for an FM. Another FM who should not be an FM. He should be an IM for sure. C6. Okay, I mean, go here. Hit the queen. I also have bishop h6, maybe. Okay, that's a blunder. So knight d3. Now he loses the rook. That's a free queen. Thank you very much. Okay, that's one up. Let's keep going. I need to win win two more just to offset that law off, offset that draw. Okay, let's play King's Indian attack. Keep it real. Play like a Bobby Fisher would. Bobby loved the King's Indian attack. This is probably his favorite opening. Actually, wait. Why am I getting a strange sense that I know who this is? I'm getting a very strange sense that I know who this guy is. Wait, I think I know who this is. I've played this guy before on his other account. I think. Wait, I think I've played this guy before. This feels like I played some some random Norwegian account who's an FM who played this exact line. Wait a second. I think I know I know who this is actually. I'm gonna go A3 and D4. No, no, it's not Magnus. There's some Norwegian FM who's really high rated who played this against me. Okay, let's think. Okay, I'm gonna just go Queen D1 and Knight F1. No, not Magnus. It's some Norwegian FM. It's someone else. But it was like FM, very high rating. He always played the same setup with this weird G5. This is a second account. It's not Elham. It's, it, it was someone. It was someone random FM. 
Um, who did this? Let's go here. I'm going to go knight g4 and h4. No, no, I, I don't, I don't know exactly who it is, but it's some, it's someone I played before on a different account. It's an FM for, he had a Norwegian flag. Now he's got a different flag. He's got a Bermuda flag here. Magnus was an FM many years ago. This isn't Magnus, but there was some Norwegian FM that I played who was doing the same weird setup. Uh, H4, H5 could be annoying, but whatever. Let's just attack him. When in doubt, attack. Why not? Except it might not work. That's the only problem. Let's go here and take. Actually, it does work. I, I think I think he's getting absolutely destroyed. I go here and Queen H6. I lolly him on, on um on G7. He gets lollied, and that's GG. He has Queen D8, but now I go Knight E5. I reinforce, and now I have Queen G5, or I reinforce the pawn, and it's game over. And um, what? I don't know what that is. I can obviously just trade. Let's think. If I take, he has to take. Yeah, I think I just take. Just take, I take, and go bishop g5. It's just over. Go here. I've got rookie six. He resigns. Okay, one more to take care of that loss. That draw, rather. Let's go back to our Sicilian. I mean, I really, I really destroyed him in that Sicilian. Let's play Shvashnikov. I haven't played Shvashnikov much online, that's for sure. It's not an opening you guys probably have seen. Probably almost never seen me play the Shvashkov. I'm gonna play Knight B8. 97 is the other other line. Nowadays this line is oddly, um, oddly mainline theory. Go A6. I actually think this might be Alham though. Play has that vibe. I'm gonna do something very dubious with A5. This is not correct. Let's go here. Go here. I'm just gonna castle play off five. You can also go B6 maybe. F5 is probably a move. I'm going to go b6 to play knight c5, though. I'm going to do a different setup altogether here. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't. I mean, it's, this could be someone like Alham, but I'm not sure. Uh, bishop b7. I can also go bishop a6. I can also just play rook e8, which makes a lot of sense, too. Actually, rook e8 makes tons of sense. Just to go like bishop a6, bishop f8. Uh, or bishop a6. I think, um, hmm. let's go here. Elham, yeah, or it's it's Elham, right? It's not Elham, but anyway, whatever. Let's be let's be good all good old Americans here and say Elham. Knight a3 is probably a good move, maybe not the best move though. How do I activate? Is really the question. He wants knight b5. I'm just gonna go here and attack the pawn. Maybe to quantum with for the prime. Thank you so much. Let's go here, attack the bishop, attack the pawn. Knight c4. That looked kind of wrong to me somehow. Maybe not. Oh, let's go here, maybe? Uh, this feels wrong, too. Feels wrong, but maybe playable. Queen h5, strange move. I just go g6. Goes back, but what does that... That doesn't actually accomplish anything. Now he gives me bishop a6, which I think is a good move here. Take with a rook. My knight is very well placed, too, now. My knight and my pawns are pretty solid. Oh, uh, let's just go back. And probably I need to go f5 here, maybe. I don't like f5, but I'm going to play it. Just so I can swing the queen over, maybe. I can also go rook a8. Rook, rook a8 trade some rooks. His queen side is a little bit soft now as well. I have, like, bishop g7. Bishop g7, I've got knight e4 next move as well. I'm also going to go queen d7. I'm starting to, uh, I'm starting to actually outplay him a little bit here. Let's go queen d7. I mean, Bishop E5 looks good. I can tango E4. His pawns are awful here. The pawns are completely glued. So I've got a great outpost. I think White's in real trouble. Now I go here. Oh, no. I just take and take, maybe? Nah, it's not that bad, I guess. I take. I'm probably slightly better here, but it's going to be very hard to prove. It's going to be very, very hard to prove. How do I win this? I'm not sure I can win this, even. Shoot. I think I have to do something on the queen side, but I don't know how to do it. So let's just go here. I'm also down on time, so I need to be a little bit quicker. Um, go here. Here and here. 
I need to get some G5. I need some, like, kingside play. The only good thing is that all these end games are, are a draw. Or, or are winning for me if I can get one. Guess I'll go H5, H4, maybe. Have to try to do something on the king side here. Go here. He's got this too. And now I'm going to start to expand on the king side here a little bit. Here. I mean, I think I have G4 or something. Like, I'm starting to get some space here. Let's go here. If I get G4 in, it starts to get a little bit scary now. Let's get G4 in. Starting to get a little bit scary for white now. I, th I think this is quite dangerous. Wait, let's go here. Wait, does that actually work? Why did I allow a threefold there? I didn't think that was a threefold. Did I miss a mate? There was no checkmate. The king was pinned, but that was so stupid. Okay, yeah, I, I mean, I'm not. I, let me see. That, that was so stupid. Now I'm losing eight points for those draws that I shouldn't be losing. Go here and rook d1. Go here and take. I'm pretty sure this is the Alham, by the way. Almost certain it is. Actually, not uh, this is Alham or it's the other I am I played or the other FM I played from Norway. One, one of the two. Although actually, Alham is from Norway, isn't he? Go here and rook h4. It's actually not great for black. Push about four. Okay, now I know I'm much better here, so I just have to find the right move. Rook d1 and rook d1, bishop b7, and he just gets out of the box. Although he doesn't really get out of the box. Ninety-five, maybe. Yeah. I right, queen eight one king h two. There's no checkmate though. The king's on h five, you guys. The king's on h five, so I have no g three. Maybe Jonathan for the ten months. Thank you so much, Jonathan. Appreciate it. No, no, no. There, there. Queen eight one king h two, you guys. There's king h two. There's no g three. There was no g three. You guys are like insane. I just take and take and go here. I'm gonna show you guys. You're, you're just completely insane. You guys are insane. You don't know what you're talking about. I think a pirate for the six months. Think so much. Okay, I'm going to show you guys very quickly because you're saying this. You're saying there was a checkmate in one. There was no checkmate in one, you guys. Queen, queen A1, King H2. The king is pinned. Thank you very much. Okay, you guys, please get with the program. Seriously, get with the program. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, thank you, you guys. Go here, Bishop G7. I'm gonna do this one. Let's play b5. It should be seven. I'm gonna go f4. Okay, so I'll play bishop b7. Um, I do a b4 at some point. I still think I, I know at some point I go h6. But I'm gonna play d6 and then h6. My stepfather actually had a game in this variation with black against a, a piece of itty from the New York Open in like 1995. Um, with the system as, as uh, black. Thank you to String Theorist for the uh, for the four months. Thank you so much, String Theorist. Yeah, you guys are like crazy. I don't know what you guys are thinking. Did I have Queen A5 after Queen A1? A Queen E5? No, he can trade and go D6. That's the other problem. I don't have it. Oh, right. He's playing this. Yeah, you know what? I know who this is. It's not Alham. This is... this. Is, I played this guy before on a different account. I don't know why he's not using his real account, but I played this guy before. Um, take... gonna go 94 I go Queen b6 he takes I go e6 I played this guy before on his other account I just don't know I just don't know what is his other account I don't remember his other account username right now but I have a 5-2 I think I just go here and trade I 
It doesn't look losing unless I'm blind. It looks okay, yeah. No, this guy, this guy is, uh, he's like FM, but he should be IM. It's not Elham. It's, there, there's one other guy I played recently. He had like a 2,900. He had like a 2,900. Yeah, I missed F6 with the fork. He had like a 2,900 rating. Um, I'm going to take and I'm going to take. He had like a 2,900 rating. He, was, he played the same French system every game. Like, I, I just, I don't remember the, his, his main user. I don't remember his main account. If I take, he takes. I can't really castle. I assume I go knight d7, maybe. It's actually a little bit scary. Or is it? Is it scary? Knight d7 takes, takes, rook f5. If I take, he has bishop b5. I go, like, king e7. Hmm. I can't really castle here. Wait a second. It was this account. You changed the name. Okay. Ah, so it is the guy I thought it was. Okay, one second. I need to make a move somehow. Wait, there is no checkmate. There's no checkmate. My king just escapes. I'm completely fine. What am I? Why am I so crazy? Because rookie one. Okay, now I take. And where is his mate? If he takes, I just take and I'm safe. If he takes, I just take and I'm safe. I can also take with a king, maybe. I think I'll take this one. I think I'm gonna. Should have played h6 first, but whatever. Go here. A little bit scary to play. I think I'm okay. Okay, I castle. If he takes, I just take. If he goes back, I'm probably gonna have to play f5 at some point. Um. I'm gonna go king h8 maybe. Go here. I'm gonna go f5 next move. He goes bishop f6. I trade and go rook g8. Oh god! And now I blundered mate. I just blundered queen h5. Jesus Christ! Go here. I thought I could take, but he has queen h5. So bad. He goes rook f3, which is not right. Okay, let's see. Let's go here. He he definitely misplayed this. Now I'm back in the game. Now I go f5, and now I win the game. He just blundered, I think. Or did, I, did he blunder? Eh, he's got bishop f5. Doesn't take advantage. Okay, now I go here, rook g7, rook g8, and I win. Jesus who? Jesus who? We, you, you heard who I said. I said that, that Jesus. Let's go here and rook, rook g8. Go here. This is not Elham. It's this other guy. This other I, This other other FM. I just, I don't remember what it, what it was before. Anyway, let's go here and trade. Hey, Zeus. Zeus. Zeus is Zeus. You can obviously trade. E6. Queen E6 takes. So takes, takes. No, that's not right. Why am I so slow again? What am I doing? I should have gone Rook G4 too. What am I doing? All right, even Queen G3. What am I doing? Go here. Again, I misplayed this. Ridiculous. Why am I playing so badly suddenly? Tough game. Maybe Yambel for the tier one. Yeah, I missed a mate in one there, I think. Did I miss a mate in one or not? Go here, knight of three. Yeah. That's about as unhappy as you're going to see me generally on stream when I get frustrated like that. So frustrating. This guy, this guy is good. This guy's good, though. Have to give credit, give credit where credit is due. 
Um, I can play F5. I mean, this is the classic Grand Prix setup you just take. I don't know about this one, though, because I can take and go Bishop D5. Okay, I think I just take, so I can take. He's going to take, and I go Bishop D5. I can go knight g5 here. I think knight e2 is correct. Is knight e2 correct or is d4 correct even? Can't remember how this line goes. I'm going to play d4 to trade. Queen b6, bishop e3 should be fine. I'll go here. Oh, did I just blunder knight? No, I can just take. Okay, never mind. I take with the... Wait. b c3. Hmm. So just take and take. I guess it's a safe pre move because there's nothing else you can do except that. If you see mate and one, I'll always look for something like a queen sack. That is another way to play the position. Yeah, that totally is another way to play it. If I see mate and one do better, yeah, if the, mate and one's not good enough. There has to be better than mate and one. I'm going to pre-move. He's got to take the bishop, surely, right? Or maybe not. Maybe he's worried about the end game. I guess he could be worried about the end game, too. After f takes e6, yeah, he takes the bishop. I take f7. And I go knight, 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 uh, knight, knight g5 or knight e5. Okay, he goes queen a5. I think I just go back. I mean, because he takes... Wait, what? Okay, this is insane. This is insane. What, what is this guy doing? He's insane. He just castles right into the open queen side. I mean, he's, 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 he's insane. He's like, I don't know what's wrong with him. He's totally insane. This is completely insane. I okay, go here. And I have queen a4. I mean, like, I've got a4. I mean, he's completely... Oh, but I gave him queen c4, so of course I justify it somehow. Okay, let's go here. I, I basically, I played, like, the worst move on the board to justify everything he's doing impressively bad by me take okay so i take with a pawn so i want to go like rook a3 maybe i still have b5 bc6 i don't know what that does i'm still just gonna go here so i can play bishop g3 i really just do wait do i have 91 maybe i also have knight h4 wait a second i i, I feel like i'm really suddenly slipping i thought i just had bishop g3 but he's got h4 Four. Knight h4. Yeah, okay, this should be fine. Oh, he can also take. Yeah, he can also take. Just take. I can just take. My rook holds. Here. Here. I have rook c1. That's my that's my plan. Okay, I'm just gonna let's just go for the let's go for the checkmate. I mean I gotta go for it. But that's insane. I just take and made him in one move. Okay. Oh, he's got bishop b6. Oh, he misses it. Okay. He plays queen b4. Okay. I, I just take over here. Still very, it's still very tricky to win. Go check. Go here. Stop the mate. H3 is better, of course, but. Let's go h3, kick the bishop out. Okay, I'm up a lot of time, so I mean, I, I should be able to pretty easily win this. He's got d4, though, over b5. How do I win this, actually? This is amazingly tricky. Wait, I think I have uh, c7. Oh, I I've got check, too. I, took I missed this initially. Yeah, this just wins. Oh, it doesn't win. He's got rook f1. Unbelievable. Now, somehow I have to flat. I mean, maybe I'd rook b1 first. Okay, go check. Don't tell me I just blundered this too. I really just do this. Okay, let's go here. Okay, take. Let 
be able to flag him, but I am so un I'm so upset with myself for this play. Not nah, tell me, dude. So putrid, so putrid. I'm gonna play three more, I think. Three more is a good number to play. That was so putrid. Go bishop g7. Go b5, b4, I guess. Play something different. That was very putrid. I can't believe that I threw that so hard. Thank you to d, d8 for the prime. They say it fast for the prime as well. I mean, at least to be fair, he, he, he did play well once he got the chance, but my technique there was abysmal. Maybe abysmal is the wrong word. It was just, it was putrid. No, no other word to use, putrid. Did I miss Mate and one there? No, I don't think I missed Mate and one that game. I might have. I doubt it. But maybe. You never know. You never know. You never know. No, he's not using an engine. No, 100% he's not. Um, first, I allowed E5, which I should not have allowed. And now Knight G4, he's got E6, so I feel like an idiot. Because I take and go here. At least E6 is not effective, I guess. Obviously, trade, but I think I just castle and take. And then I have Rook F6 or something. Not so bad, I guess. There's knight e4. I can play e6 here. Knight c7 is also a move. Knight, knight c7, knight b6 or something. Huh. Really ugly, but I think I have to play e6 here. And go queen c7 or something. Okay, let's go here. Open up the scope for the bishop. Still bad, but playable at least. Playable, maybe. It's too strong a word to use. Let's go here and knight b6. Do I take or not? I think I do take. I create the weakness. Always take and take, maybe. Goes queen f4. Go here. I have to be very careful. There are a lot of tricks here. Knight d6. I'm definitely taking. I guess I'm going knight c8 to relieve the pressure if I can. This rook d3, which looks like a strange move. Because now I can unwind. I'm still worse, but I can play the position at least. I think I can play the position. Rook e3. Okay, I don't understand. Like, so now I get the knight to d4. I also have queen e7. Rook e3 is a very strange move. Goes h4. He wants h5. I can play h6, g5. I can also play h, uh, h6, h5, g5, bishop d3. Rook h8. Sketchy, sketchy, but maybe playable. Knight d4. I think knight d4 is a move, but I think I have to. I think I have to do this and go rook h8. Oh, did I just blunder the game? G3. Wait, wait, wait. I have queen e5, queen c6. I also have knight d4 here. I also have f5. I also have king h8. I also have rook d4. Wait, rook... Oh, okay, wait. I don't have time. Knight d4 is the move that makes the most sense to me. Queen e5, queen c6 is no good. King h6 is probably too much. I think I'm just going to go king h8. I'm going to trust my instinct that somehow I have play here. And maybe just f5 and just rook f6. It's, it's a very dangerous position. Like, it's also is queen e3. Takes, I take. Rook c5, I go e5, I'm fine. He goes rook g6. That does not look like the right move. Take. I bring my king up and I have rook h8. And now it's called the ambulance. But for you, my friend, because I go knight d4, I've got rook h8. And just like that, my d's knights come right back into the game in a hurry. Wait, I gotta be careful here. Wait, I know I'm winning. How do I do this though? Do I have queen f4? No, then queen e7, rook h8. Wait, how do I bring my pieces back in? I, I'm gonna go here? Somehow it's like I thought I should there should have been some easier way to win this, but it doesn't look like it, it existed. Yeah, I guess I'll just go here and knight f6. Go here, get the knights on the safe squares, and now D's knight should be enough to win the game. Still a little bit tricky though. Spock. But let's just trade pieces. I mean, I think this is the safest way to win. Especially because I'm down 20 seconds. He resigns, keep going. Call the ambulance, but for you, exactly, exactly. All right, three more to go. Tough games, very, very tough games. 
guy is very strong he should be he should be um he should be an im i i, I get i'm betting that he's probably like 14 15 and he just hasn't played enough games that's my guess why no rui lopez um because the lopez is a bad opening it was bad in 1560 it's still bad in 2021 go here and trade maybe c3 keep it simple don't tell me i didn't just blunder again did i no i didn't fg3 wait that's interesting wait if i take he's got queen h4 huh i think i just go knight f3 and queen d3 it looks fine to me Let's take go back i mean i guess he can play h5 he goes bishop b7 the question is, is which way am i castling I, okay it does castle so i guess i'll go just castle why not i wasn't sure if he's going to try to storm me on the king's side that's why I, that's why i delayed the castle I just go here i don't understand knight before at all in c5 i go knight e2 i can even just take the pawn but let's just go here very smooth fluid moves no need to get chippy or creative just keep it simple sally or keep it simple stupid is the saying could have played a3 b4 too that was an interesting idea now he gets some kind of play hmm yeah i'm not in love with this knight f4 allows bishop g5 i need some kind of c4 smash in the middle but it doesn't exist hmm let's go here keep it simple go here stop any knight before jumps after the trade probably try to reroute the knight maybe Go here in g4 try to take advantage of his bad placement goes back i go bishop e3 knight h4 i just take and go g5 or something maybe not okay let's just go here keep it simple does have knight if no that's no good i just take I always go b4 uh what's his idea is the question he doesn't have a real ah he wants bishop g5 aha he wants bishop g5 that's what he wants he wants this move so i go here avoid the hook have h4 me rook d1 me rook a2 rook c1 me seven looks scary for black somehow but it's not I think i'm gonna go here and take the oh he's gonna go rook f7 maybe hmm. it was knight d8 i think i'm willing to trade rooks here i assume i should be willing to knight f7 that knight's not going anywhere but bishop is really annoying on g5 i have to say i'm thinking too long as usual Go. oh my god he gave him bishop three doesn't take advantage of it i guess i go here in knight h5 i mean it's got to be the it's got to be the play now i'm gonna go here in knight h5 this has to be the play i mean i can also take on g5 okay goes there i go here i'm gonna take for sure no let's go here he's got to be very careful queen g6 and knight f6 and queen g7 is a very big problem okay so i've got what i want let's go h4 I have to go back i mean this looks losing somehow but it's actually not easy to prove let's keep pushing i don't know if i like that but now i have knight f4 and probably should be winning i can take the pressure here about to have a dead knight his knight's about to go to sleep for the rest of the game uh i can clean up seven why did i why did i not take the knight oh my gosh so bad Oh man, I'm so mad at myself for that. I feel like here or something. I'm so mad at myself. That was so stupid of me. Oh, it goes rook, rook, uh, rook, rook f8, which is a mistake. I think I have here. Now I somehow I guard everything magically. Rook f8 was a huge mistake by him. Now I put the knight to sleep for the rest of the game with g6. I could have taken e6 too. Um. Did I just blunder again? I think I did. Why am I thinking so long? But again, like I'm just thinking forever. I don't know why I keep doing this. Go here in Queen C8 or something. I just I don't know what's wrong with me. I keep doing this. And now I'm down on the clock again, as always. Oh, uh, wait. I think this must this is the only try to win. I don't know if it wins, but it's gotta be the right try. Just go up go here oh my gosh he's got a way to card the pawn too go 
here. Hit the pawn. I think the knights are too fast here. Pony's too strong. I mean, that was very, very tricky. Very tricky. I'm, I mean, I, maybe I had something better, but very tricky game. All right, A3. I don't know what that is. I'm going to go G6. Play a dragon. Oh, he's going to play... So he plays a Sozin, I guess. It's like a Sozin, dragon, everything. Go here on Bishop B7. It's like very weird. It's like Sozin, dragon, everything. I don't even know what this is. I'm going to play H5. I'm really kind of confused because... Oh, he castles kingside. Oh, I was sure he was going to go queenside because he played this. This is very strange. I mean, I can obviously castle. I can also play E. I think I castle and play E5 next. So I have to be a little bit careful because of this bishop. I can always go knight B6, knight C4. Okay, E5, knight F5, I just take and I'm fine. So, this looks fine. Knight F5 takes knight E8, I'm fine. Let's go back. Then I play like, knight B6. Where do I go check? I can also check and play knight c5. So many options, so little time. I'm gonna go here. Maybe knight c4 is an idea. Goes knight g3. If h4. No, I just take. It's not really a threat. Now I have knight h5, knight f4 even. This looks very dubious. Very dubious by my opponent. Very, very dubious. Thinking for a long time, I guess he's debating which square to go to, h1 or e2. My instinct is e2 is better, but we'll see which one he goes to. Okay, he's deep in the tank here. We've got 30 second lead. Dubious creature getting up to mischief. Something like that. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know which one he goes to. And the thing is, I'm thinking on his time now, though. I'm just trying to think about what I can do against both moves. Wow, he goes for it? Am I mi missing something? Whoa, F4? What is this? This looks crazy. It's got, what, one pawn? Got one pawn. Wait a second. Let's go here. This doesn't look right at all. Okay, I mean, I can obviously take here. I think I'm going to go knight c4. Yeah, I mean, if he has to trade, he just doesn't have enough pieces here. He really just doesn't not have enough. Queen g5 maybe at some point too. I, take with a, I mean, I really don't want to take with a pawn, but I will. It goes rook h3. I saw that, but I can go rook h5 and guard the pawn. I also have queen b6 and queen b2. This just is not enough for white. I can check and go bishop c8. I can go bishop c8 right away. Hmm. Okay, I'm up a lot of time on the clock, so it's time to not go too crazy. Queen f6 looks very clean. Actually... Yeah, Queen F6 is just very clean. Just trade down into an endgame that I can never lose, and I should be able to win. So let's just go back. I also have Bishop C8 lurking. I can just go Queen G7. There's just nothing you can do here. I'm just winning this game. I'm up, I'm up 30 seconds on the clock. I can also just go here, trade trade some rooks. Resigns. Let's keep going. Thank you to Torsky Guy for the Prime. When is Bullet? Uh, I'm not sure when I'll get back to Bullet Speedrun. Probably a little bit later. I'm, I mean, again, as you guys are seeing, this is a pretty pretty failed mission of trying to increase my rating. Uh, I'm doing okay, I guess. I'm, I'm sort of holding my rating, but I'm not doing more than that. And in fact, 
even if I win this game, I'm losing points despite beating him by by a five to one margin. Pretty nuts. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna play h4 here, and h5. This e5. A little slightly dubious. I'm gonna go c3. I don't know if this is right. Uh, okay, I'll take. Go a3, b4. Go a4, knight c4 next move. I guess I'll go bishop e6. Go here, hit the pawn. I mean, I always have h5, h6 if I need it. Those, yeah, his pieces are pretty well placed now, so I feel kind of stupid for doing that. Let's go here. Oh my gosh, now I go bishop h3. Oh, that was so stupid of me. Yuck. Okay, let's go here, I guess, and pretend that I didn't do anything wrong. Go b3, maybe bishop a3. Yeah, I'm just going to pretend I didn't do anything wrong here and just keep playing the game. Maybe knight g1 next move. He goes f5. Wait, so I take... 95? Wait, wait a second. Now, why did I do this? Oh, it's rookie 80. Doesn't take advantage. Wait, but if I take. Wait, I just take the. What am I missing? I can just take with the rook or the knight. I think he made a mistake. Oh, he goes 95. Yeah, he very clearly made a mistake then. He goes knight d5. That's, uh, I can take and go knight b6. That's step one. Not the only option. It looks like maybe the best option, though. It looks like a pretty clean option. I forked the queen and the rook. Ah, uh, he's got bishop e5. Ah, uh, he's got bishop e5. He's, he is finding some very creative moves. But I have f4. I mean, this must be good for me, right? This can't no, because here I just go I just get I get everything out. I mean I can go queen I just go here here. This is just GG. Because now I have rookie one, he doesn't have enough material, and it's over. Thank you to Saju for the 18. Thank you to Aqua Soup for the prime. Let's keep going. Play more of this, uh more of this. Go here. Oh wait! Oh, he played. Oh, he played knight d4. Oh, wait a second. He played knight d4. I, I was like, I'm, I, I didn't even notice. I'm just that zoned in that I didn't even notice that he played knight d4. I was like, what's going on? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go back to. Yeah, I was like, I, for some reason in my mind he had played d4, knight takes d4. So I'm just, I was ready to just keep going. Let's go knight a3, bishop b5, and a4. He resigned because he hung a knight. He hung a knight um, by accident. He played the. I've done that too, and that's like the worst possible pre because it's like it's the most uh, sad pre move you can ever have. Go Eve. I think it's Fuma for the prime. He resigned because he's just down a piece. Okay, now I take. By the way, you guys, I learned this line. I worked on a lot with my stepfather when I was about 10 to 11 years old. I played in World Youth Chess Festival. I played against a, um, a very strong British player by the name of Gawain Jones, and I prepped it for him. And also, I played against a South Korean player, Alexei Kim. So that's why this line is near and dear to my heart. Go queen e2. Knight g5, maybe. Let's go here. Maybe queen f2. Maybe bishop e3 and take. Go here. Hit the pawn on c5. Knight d5. Okay, interesting move. Do anything if I take and take? He's got d4 or something. D4 doesn't look right. Wait, f4 is hanging or not hanging? It is kind of hanging. I can... I think I'm just gonna castle. I'll give him the pawn because I can take and go queen c5. Or, of course, I can give him the pawn and then realize that he is queen e3 at the end of that line. Just take. Okay, but now this is just dubious because I have d4 and I have d5 maybe. Bishop d3 is also reasonable here. Knight e5 is reasonable. I'm just gonna play here and attack the knight. Just keep it very simple. Very, very simple chest. He hangs a pawn. I can obviously take and take the pawn. It's reasonable. It's not really what I want to play though. So I'm gonna go bishop g5 and try to win the pawn cleanly. And if h3, I'll go g4 here. Thank you to Ron MC for the 18 months. Thanks so much to Ron MC. Okay. If I take, he takes. If I take, he takes, takes e5. Okay, logical. Let's just keep the let's just keep the materials then. Okay, now now I'm just clearly up a pawn and, and significantly better. Uh, let's just go here, attack the queen. And maybe knight f3, knight e5. Yeah, this looks very pleasant. Let's trade. I think I'm just going to go... Uh, not rookie one, actually. I would, rookie one would give back this pawn on a5, I just realized. 
I don't feel like I've done this. I, I don't don't feel like I've played this particularly well though. Cause now there are all kinds of weird tricks. Um, let's go here. I, I got to speed up. I'm just moving way too slowly. Let's go here and take, I guess. I'm gonna just take with the bishop. Take with this. Go bishop f1. Relatively, this is okay. Go here, take the file. Wait, that's feels wrong. I'm gonna go here and go for queen e7. Feels wrong. Let's just let's just go in for it. Queen e7. F8. Good move. I missed that. Shoot, I did I just blunder this too? Seriously? Let's go here. I just blunder this whole game away. Or did I wait? Wait a second. Maybe not wait. Be careful how I do this. I'm down so much time. That's the problem here. I'm down so much time. This is going to be very hard to play. But I'm getting d6, d7 here. If I get the counter punch with d6, d7, there's play. Wow, he sees that? Unreal. Take. Unbelievable. How did he see that? I have to make a draw. I'm down so much time here. I have to make a draw. If I don't go queen d3, it's bishop d4 and the game's over. I spotted it draw or is it a draw wait wait is this a draw wait no it's not a draw he loses he messed this up he loses I go here and I go a7 it's the white peoples the white peoples rule the day there we go we got the dub Wide peepos for the win. I think you have freaky XW for the tier one. No, he offered the draw. I didn't offer the draw. This move. Okay. Let's go again. Let's go here. Okay. Let's, let's play another Nidorf. E5. Yeah, he, he messed that up actually. He got really careless. Let's go here and take. Should have been a, uh, should have been, it should have been an easy draw. All time high blitz. No, I'm like, I'm 100 points off, you guys. I'm trying to grind. I'm trying to grind it. I'm trying to grind really hard to get there. But it's it's tough sledding. It's tough sledding, no matter how you look at it. It's tough sledding. Is this FM better than XQC? No, XQC is a, XQC is a, a stronger chess player. I mean, what kind of question is that? Let's go knight d7. Okay, let's just go g6, bishop g7, maybe knight c5 next move. Plays f4. Oh, what am I even doing? I should have put the rook on C8 to begin with. This is so stupid of me. <sighs> Do I have queen B6 here? Wait. Queen B6? Wait, 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 wait. There might be a tactic that I... Yeah, I didn't even see this tactic on first glance. Because now I can just take and end the game. Takes. Okay, I take and I take, of course. Okay, I think I'm I think I'm okay here, but I have to be very careful. C8, Queen G4 is dangerous. I feel like I should have is it no King E7, Knight Knight C7, um Knight B6, no, Queen E4, no, Knight E5, Knight E5 and King D7, maybe? No, but then he can take on F8. No, but then I go King E7. Oh, uh, let's just go for it. I don't I don't want to waste all my time thinking here. Now I go here, and I think my bond cloud is holding, because I can take with the rook. I think my bond cloud is holding. My king is very open on e7, but his knight is also glued. Oh, he's got this. Yikes. Big yikes. Uh, I can probably play rook f8 and draw. 
Can I do more than draw here is the question. 95 takes, king e6 check, 97. Very risky. I think I just have to make the draw. With rook f, rook f8, takes king d8, rook d1. Now let's, let's let's try to win. Probably very much against my very much against my better judgment. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. Oh, he just oh he just got this with a oh he just got this with a draw. I think what I did was right though. I think I would have lost otherwise. Maybe I had rook c8 or something. I, maybe I had rook c8. Queen g4. No, probably. I, I think what I did was right. You guys can tell me. You guys can tell me it was wrong. I'm gonna I'm gonna play like a few more. Not many. Oh, he, he offered me the North C. Okay, let's go e5. Go here. Go here. I want to go f3. Trap the knight. It's actually a very weird position. Let's take. Let's go f4. Or h. What about h5 here? Because I, I have queen d4 and f4 and bishop f4. Oh, did I just blunder? I think I just blundered. Okay, let's just take. Let's go here. <sighs> take. I can just take. It's queen g3, king e2. Again, I might have another bond cloud here. It was knight c6. Oh, wait. Okay, let's see. What do I do? He's threatening knight b4. I think I'm going to go bishop d2 here. Because if he checks, I can always just um, I can always just go up. So I did e5, rook e1, and king d1, and then I manually castle. I also have check here. Do I check first? I think I'm going to check first. If it goes queen g6, I guess I just... Okay, he doesn't want to castle either. I can play rook h4, but that looks insane. So let's go c3 and like rook h4 maybe. And this is all a little bit wonky. You go king d1, c2 to manually castle. I can also go rook e1. Queen h4 is probably a safe, safer attempt. Bishop h6 is also a move here. Um, I'm going to go here. And king e3, I guess. Everybody's king is kind of not feeling very comfortable here. Let's go here. Oh, no. I just blundered. Or did I? Wait, no, I can take and go queen h6. Wait. No, I didn't blunder. I have queen h6. And what on earth is even going on here? There's rook d8. I mean, I can go king e3. I mean, everybody's king is, like, really open here. Oh, wait, no, I can also go rook d1, right? Wait, no, then he's got check. It's impossible to play. Can't calculate. I've got no time either. I think queen f4 is maybe the safest play. It looks like the safe play. My king is so open. Both kings are like in really bad shape here. It goes there. I'll go here and king g1 probably. Knight e2. Oh, it's got queen d3 or something. Yeah, yikes. Tough position to play for both sides. My, if I get my knight out, actually, if I get my knight to h3, I'm probably completely fine. Weirdly enough. So let's go here. D5. I can go bishop c4. I can also just play like knight h3 and knight g5. It's a little bit much. Let's go b3. I think I think I should have gone a3 actually, but anyway. Um, what's this idea here? Wait, I can go here. I can also go. Here. Let's just go here. Let's just develop. Oh, he's got knight e5. No, but then knight d4. Shoot, I blundered again. This is what happens. Get too creative. Get way too creative and bad things happen. I go here, king f2. Bridge. Oh, here. Yeah, now I just blundered this too. At least I'm up on the clock. There's some small chance I can maybe survive this. Down to 50 seconds, too. Here. Oh, he blunders. 
Praise the Lord, he blunders. Or did he blunt? What? No, there's no way this is okay, is there? Somehow he has a magic trick again? Oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. Somehow he has some magic trick here too. Ooh. Here? Oh no, I went to the wrong square, but he missed it. He could have checked and checked on G2, he missed it. Wait, but I have here... D1, take 16, D2. What's going on here? I'm threatening checkmate. He missed it, but I go here in King C1. He missed it. Yeah, this dude is a magician. Somehow he has some magic trick every move that I play. Like a total magician. Okay, but now, I mean, now I just win the game. Go here. Okay. That could have been that could have been really unpleasant. If I if I had messed that up, that would have ruined my ruined all the work over the last like few hours. Let's go here. Let's do this 97 C5. I, I don't believe him actually. I don't I just don't believe him. I'm gonna castle again. I place the e5 here. I can go knight h6, knight f5, maybe. I can also go f6. I don't know if this is the right move. Probably it's not, but it's worth a shot. So, I mean, we're going to trade everything down on e5 here. Don't ever believe a magician. No, magicians are... Um, yeah, it's just a trick. It's not it's not real. Let's go here. This is probably also bad. I'm gonna go here and maybe now I'll castle next move. It's 94. Okay, I just castle now. I have knight of five at the right moment as well. David Blaine is real. Okay, thank you for that. Um I'll go here. Gonna try to get wait, that's just a blunder. He just blundered a pawn. Okay, much better. Wait, do I just wait a second? 93. Again, this guy's a magician because somehow he makes a blunder and he has a he has an instant reply out of nowhere. He pulls us from out of I don't even know where. Just take. The queen three now. I can <sighs> somehow I'm not winning here, which is really annoying. Let's go. Go here. Let's take and go here, I guess. Because d5, I have 97, I think. Or just queen d7, rookie 8. Yeah, let's just go here and rookie 8. Knight d4, I have 97. That's my whole idea. I just blundered that too. Hmm. Let's take and go here, I guess. Queen c7, I have queen d5, so I take. Now I take, and if he takes, I take. This guy is incredibly resourceful. Incredibly resourceful. Do I want to go c5 or not? Actually, rook a... No, I think I want to attack the rook and then go like rook f7 and double up. Oh, he blundered. Now I have beef. Oh, maybe he didn't blunder. Maybe he's just losing. I go here, he can't take. And his bishop is stuck on the diagonal. Everything's covered. There we go, you guys. There we go. There we go. There we go. This guy is definitely stronger than, than FM. He's like, he's IM strength for sure. Not even a question. Okay, four to go, you guys. Let's, let's go. Four more. I don't even know why I'm playing this line, but I am. Yeah, he goes 97. We trade. I mean, isn't this what I, what I played before against him? Castles. I need a Predator V for the two months. This much Predator V. Okay, but the thing for Black is there are actually problems here. Wow, he just goes right into it. He lets me just attack him. I'm kind of surprised by that. I mean, I feel like there was big attack. I mean, big, big attack coming. All my pieces are shifting towards this side of the board. Not afraid. Wow, okay. Takes with a bishop. I'm sure he would take with a pawn. I mean, everything is shifting. Like, everything is shifting here. 
go here i want this i want to get this in i mean everything is shifting the board it's all coming over this way because rook g8 i mean bishop e5 looks correct takes and like i don't know rook f6 92 knight of four i mean this looks bad for black maybe it's not but it feels hard to play go do i go f1 or e1 actually my instinct says e1's correct i don't even know why but that's just my instinct actually my instinct is just wrong because he's rook g6 he misses it okay let's let's rotate the pony now the pony comes into the attack too and now i think it's, i think this is already close to lost for black now i go here and he's he's one move too slow with the queen on d so my knight gets in just in time the rotation completes the orbit correctly and now i can play an end game of a pawn i really don't want to play that so i'm just going to go here and try to win the game instead i have knight h5 next move i mean okay now i just eat the juicer i've got knight f6 resigns three to go let's keep rolling okay i'm gonna do something different now i don't i don't like my g6 lines i'm gonna go for this go here bishop g7 of course again really castly is okay um let's go here in g3 i don't know what that threatens really so i guess i'll go knight of six a little confused by queen g3 i do have d4 i think i'm just gonna play all in here just attack him go here maybe knight a4 i'm gonna try to get really weird here get really funky with my knight going this way i'll go b5 i think knight a3 is an awful move because now he thought he would go to c4 but i just cut that off i cut him off at the pass i have bishop f8 no knight jumps he's gonna have to go back to b1 very very questionable decision by my opponent now, f5 makes sense the question is do i have any tricks like do i have some like it's got e5 that's his one bankable trick and go bishop f8 the knight b1 hmm. i'm just gonna go knight d7 takes and maybe queen e7 maybe i should have just castled maybe i'll pre-move it because it's a safe pre-move I've never act, I've actually never lost the car making me equal strength I'm correct yeah you've never lost me that that is very true you are um you are just as strong you guys just as strong I I could not agree more I totally concur I thought I pre-moved fb6 go here and I castle and I mean it's like it's a little bit strange because I'm giving up my whole queen side but at the same time he's under a big attack here like king b1 I mean I have like knight c5 I can even go rook c8 here maybe go here I mean this looks very scary I could have also gone a6 maybe but i have knight c3 here i've also got knight c5 oh, wait did i misplay this somehow go here i think i'm gonna go here and here maybe it's a very strange move yeah he's trying to he's trying to avoid taking the pawn basically he's gonna go a6 and ask him what he's doing his queen's like really off sides here on a5 yeah, he goes bishop b4 but i'm not really that concerned because i think i can just like move my queen to like here now again he's got big problems bishop e5 c7 is coming maybe queen d7 was safer actually this was a better move i should have gone to d7 in one jump or one go but i'm gonna go h5 and kick the bishop next move anyway yeah queen d7 was much better but still i think very very dangerous for white i mean knight c3 is coming rook c3 is coming i have h5 to kick the bishop at the right moment wait rook c1 wow um i didn't think you could do that i can always play okay i'm just gonna play h5 get rid of the bishop right away i mean i feel like there's some way to win here let's just go here blockade the, the lights the the dark source so we can't activate this go here of course i do a b4 oh i've got b4 wait i've got b4 and rook b8 why didn't I just do that? Why did I miss that? Ugh. This knight's still dead, though. I guess I'll go here. I'm gonna go rook c3 next move. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the kill with rook a3. I think he's too slow. I just take. Yeah, it's just a little bit too slow. He's one move too slow, I believe. But takes, I just go here. 
I think he's one move too slow because it's checkmate. He goes C4. I just take. I've got C2. Oh my god. Did I just blunder? I did. Unreal. Go here. Unbelievable. Check. Let's go A5, A4. This guy is amazing. Amazingly resourceful player. Of course. Of course, I blunder rook f6. Most obvious move on the board. <sighs> Unbelievably bad by me. There's no checkmate, so he can't actually go check check. I'm gonna have to take. No check. Oh, he goes rook g1. Oh my god, I blundered that to or wait, no, I have here and here, yeah, it's okay. There we go. Oof. Signs. Okay, let's go again. Two more to go. Let's go E4. Never seen Nikar put his jumper in in, in his uh in, in like that. He must be super nervous about potentially losing. I'm not worried about losing. I'm just annoyed when I mess up the winning position. Yeah. Okay, let's go here. Let's play this. Okay, he seems to be a little bit tired. I, I think he's a little bit tired. Feels like he's not playing his precise openings. Um, even though I suspect he's like half my age. Um, let's go knight D2 here. This should be a six interesting. I mean, I can, and I don't really want to trade, but I'll do it anyway. Let's go a three cut off the night before move. I'm just going to castle play like rookie one play simple. Happy chess. E five is always a move. I'm just going to rotate the knight. We'll play simple. Happy chess here. Very smooth, slow, happy chess. I mean, he's 13. Yeah, I think he actually is. He's probably like, maybe he probably is. Let's go here and trade. Maybe I don't know if it's a great idea, but okay. No, let's just go back and uh, let's go queen D two. I'm going to play h3, stop knight g4, and then I'm going to go queen d2 next move. Yeah, I think he is actually. I think he's like 15. I, I, I'm pretty confident that he's not um, he's not much older than that. Now, I do have e5 at some moment. Oh, I was about to play knight e2 and hang the pawn. That would have been really sad. Uh, let's just go here. This isn't great, though. Probably very balanced here. Okay, I can go F3. I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go F3 and just consolidate my chain here. I'm gonna trade. I'm just gonna keep rooks on the board, play like knight d3 maybe, or maybe I'll reroute the knight actually. Let's reroute the knight back to c3 here. Let's go here. Hit the queen. I'm trying to keep as as much um, play in the position as I can. Let's go here. I think I'm going to actually just start expanding on the king side here, like G4, H4. My knights are good. My center is good. Okay, he does this. Okay, I mean, he's basically asking me to attack him. So I'm going to, I'm, I mean, he's asking me to go after him. So I should go after him. Let's move the queen over. Knight C4, bishop F2. I mean, I don't really believe in this for black. He's got no entry. I'm guarding all the pawns. That B4 is a good move. Now, the question is do I play A4? Or do I take? I don't really want to take the pawn here. I mean, I don't want to go A4. I guess I'll just take and go like. I'm going to go F3. Or, I think I'm going to go to G2 to go to F4 here. That's my idea, at least. Because Knight C7. I go Knight F4. Put maximum pressure on the pawn here on E6. I can also go F6 here. I can also put like G5. F6 looks like the move. Rook A1 also looks like a move. Um. H4 also looks, I mean, so many moves. I'm going to go H4 here. Let's keep expanding. Okay, now I think I'll take and go G5. Have knight D5 also. I should have played G5 right away. This guy keeps seeing all the moves. Oh, what? What? He took on B2 right away? Oh my gosh, what was that? Oh, he got me with the cheese pre-move. What was that? What was knight takes? Knight takes b2. I just take and I win the game. 
That's unbelievable, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna stop him. That's that's pretty upsetting, actually. I don't even know why. Why did he even do that? That makes no sense. Like, I just don't understand it. Why did he do that? Was that like an accidental slip or like, what was that even? Yeah, all the harder for nothing. I mean, he just, he lost the game in one move for no reason. I, I just, I don't understand. Why did he do that? Stream sniping? Oh, you think he saw my pre-move? I mean, yeah, he did write something in the chat. Yeah, maybe he did. Who knows? I mean, only he knows. You think he's looking at my screen? He, he was looking to see the pre-move, and so he took with the he took on B two. I mean, he did comment in chat earlier. He said something which was directly related to something I said on stream. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. There's only a two second delay though. I mean, he he, he took and he could have seen my pre-move, but I don't know. I'd rather think that he didn't. If he did, I mean, then then he he knows he did something very wrong, and he'll have to live with that. Um, so I, I, I assume he didn't, I'm actually not sure because of how quickly those moves came in. Cause yeah, he took a long time to take. No, he took like 10 seconds to play 96. I doubt it. I doubt it. He didn't outplay me. He resigns the game. No, I mean, he resigns the game. I mean, if I just play knight takes B2, he resigns the game right there. He's just down a piece. So I don't think so, but you guys, I mean, if he did it, he'll, he knows he did something wrong. So he'll have to live with himself, but that's it. I'm going to play one more and then I'm going to stop. Go, um this will be the last game though i'm just gonna win one more to shut up the idiots who act like he outplayed me go d5 and take because he resigns the game in one move if i just take his knight play d5 here and takes it's knight f3 let's go here I also go b5 here i'm gonna go 97 b5 next move actually i'm just not gonna say any moves I, I, i'm actually not gonna say any moves because i want to see how many moves he plays this is my way of testing this, this is my way of actually testing is i'm not gonna say any moves because i want to see the number of moves that he plays that, that i'm actually thinking about during the game now but he played a lot of moves that i was thinking about you guys put that idea in my head so now I'm just, I'm not even going to talk. I'm just going to focus on the game and see how many moves he actually plays now, which are moves that I, that I, that I was considering. Wow. Wow, I just blundered. That's unbelievably poor by me. Oh, and now I hung knight of five. I was supposed to put the queen there and bishop there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wait, it takes with the rook. It's supposed to take with the knight there. Let's go here.
I think Tetra Neutrons for 10 X Dine effects for the tier one thing is so much. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't see anything that I would say was noticeably worse. He played a bad opening, so I could say, like, he played a bad opening and got a bad position that game, but I wouldn't say there's anything noticeable. I just misplayed it because I was completely winning out of the opening. That's why I'm annoyed by the game. That looks a little bit strange for G4. Oh, he's got Queen H. Uh, I've got Rook F3. Okay. Hmm, let's just go here. Hmm. I mean, G5 is always a move here. I don't love it, though. Knight B5 is also a move. I mean, this looks like the correct square for the Rook, I guess. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm I'm pretty confident he's not. I'm giving out moves again. Not really. Not really. Wait a second. Wait a second. for Yeah, he has no pre-move here to avoid some trick. And now he's going to lose the rook because the uh, because he can't keep the pin alive, so he's going to be down material here. And now I just take and this should be pretty easy to win. Maybe not easy actually, because I have some technical problems. Go here, get the knight back, not allow some weird fork here. It's actually not so easy to win. Go here. Open files are very important in end games. Uh, I think I'll go here in King G3. Go here, hit the pawn, 96 should be should be very good for me. Obviously go rook d6. I can also check. I think this is the safest way to play it though. Rook d6, 94. Yeah, I mean I I I don't think so. I mean he's still playing, he's still playing pretty good chess. So I don't know. I'm a little skeptical, although that being said, I mean it was a very strange sequence there. Go here and hit the bishop. I don't, I mean, my instinct is that he wasn't. It's just the timing, and then, like, it was a pre-move that when I missed it, it's just winning on the spot for him. That's the only reason. I mean, I'm a little bit, very slightly suspicious, but I, I, I objectively, I, I, somehow I don't think so. Wait, yeah, let's go B4, because I have Rook C5. I'm just going to try to play on the Queen side here. Um, I can go Rook E1 here, but I'm just going to keep, keep rolling the pawns up the board. Let's just keep rolling the pawns. Let's just go here. I have check or rook c4. I'm going to go here, trade, and win the pawns. Very, very, very simple plan, actually. Yeah, I mean, I will say it's definitely possible that he did, but I, 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 I don't think so. 
Take and go rook here and take the pawn. Just take. I'm gonna go e4 for the one. Oh no, he doesn't. Okay. Okay. Two more, you guys. Two more. Let's play e5. Let's let's, let's slow it down. I right, want to play the Italian. Okay, let's go here. His move is way too quick after the pre-move, like one second. Uh, he could he could have just taken and pre-moved it. But again, like I said, it's it is definitely possible, but I doubt it somehow. I, I mean, I, I just I doubt it. It's just very weird because he's playing such a high quality that the blunder basically if I if I if I take on B2, he resigns the game in one second. Whereas if um if I don't, then he's like uh, what was I saying? If, if I if I take on B2, he resigns. Versus like if I don't take on B2, he wins. Like it's like it's it's 100 going both ways. But I, I'm a little bit skeptical. I would say I'm just generally pretty skeptical about that. Now I can try to be aggressive here, but I'm not. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna play the old line. This is not the best line, by the way, but it's the old line. I had this in a game against Sam Sevian in the United States Chess Championship, I believe, many years ago. I had this against Lemon Aro or not Lemon. Sorry, I had this against Levon Aronian in the speed chess championship on top of that too so the line i'm pretty familiar with i'll give knight a4 i'm not concerned i'm gonna play on the play on the uh play on the um play on the king side nice sack here why did i do this actually this just doesn't do anything I'm trying to go over here and attack just there here definitely some attacking chances now A queen g6 here a lot of pressure actually a lot of pressure for white a lot of pressure Um, by the way, you guys, I mean, chat's the one that brought up in the first place. I don't think so, personally. But, I mean, it's... I mean, it's possible, but it's it's doubtful. The queen e4. The only, the only reason that I do kind of wonder is because I said something in chat. I said something... I said something in my stream about I thought this reminded me of someone. And then in chat... And then in chat, he responded and said that it was him. So, that's the only reason, actually, that I have a little bit of suspicion. Or that I that I know because I know he's watching the stream at the same time. That's the only reason. It's because I because in chat he wrote like he said yes it's me I just changed my username. That's the only reason. That's the only reason that there's that like I even entertain the idea. Okay, he goes king g two. So I take I take and I take upon a two, um, or I can go b five here. Okay, I'm much better. But I have to find the right idea. I think rook a five rook b five. Ah, not the right. Why did I do this? This is nothing. Ridiculous move by me. Let's just go here. I guess I'll go go here. Maybe F6. Is A4? I guess. Looks okay. Go here. Maybe Rook B6. Rook A6. Here in rook a6 i'm gonna try to open this up in the center soon i mean i have b6 at some point but actually i'm pretty happy because now i feel like i should be able to play on the king's side i can just swing everything over now that the queen side is closed he can't really attack my pawns um let's just go here i'm gonna go f6 next move 100 maybe not 100 but i um feels like a good move let's drop back there's f4 okay again not very smart by me Okay, I can go B6 maybe. Okay, B8. Go here. I'm actually way down on time, I just realized. I've got to slow it, consolidate this. Go here. I've got, I'm, I'm moving too slow, way too slowly. Also, rook b8 was probably better. 4, b5, rook c4. Tricky. 
wait, that? Wait, wait, now I just... Wait, now I just... Wait a second, wait a second. Take? You can take, I guess. Okay, it's gonna take. Let's go here. I don't think this is a fortress, honestly. I can go, like, here. Maybe it's a fortress. Could be. I gotta move. What am I doing? There we go, we got the dub. Bad, 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 bad game. Okay, plays knight f6, let's go e5, knight c3. Play this one. Take, I'm gonna just play simple, simple chess. Bishop g5, develop the pieces, keep it really simple, Sally. Um, I'm gonna go g3, I don't know if this is right, but it looks kind of in, oh, he just goes, Um, let's go here. Okay, I feel like I should have some play, some sort of play here. Again, I don't know why I did this. There's castle. And I have bishop b5 here, but I think I'm just going to play rook e1. I'm going to make him castle here. And then I'm going to go bishop d3, bishop e4. Yeah, okay, now I'm going to go here, bishop e4 or something. Or knight g5 actually is an idea. Queen e4, queen h4 is an idea. Here, threaten mate. With g6, I'm probably gonna go like queen h4 and try to go for some mates here. I can always go bishop f1 g2. Place h5. Wow, that's a. He's asking me to sack here. I mean, I really want to sack. I want to play Daniel style, but I don't think Daniel style works in this position. It doesn't feel right somehow. I think bishop e4 must be the right move here. Oh, he's got... Uh, okay, I should not mention moves again. I keep forgetting. Rook d8, logical. I can go queen g5, maybe. Let's go here. I think I'm getting something here, though. I'm starting to get some play. Getting a bunch of play here. G7. I mean, again, like I feel like there should be a sack, but I don't see it. I'll go here. Okay, 97 is a good move. Really is no trick here. Hmm. Unfortunate. Okay, let's go check. Maybe queen f6 or something. Maybe queen f6 or c4, queen f6. Okay, let's go here. I want to stop knight d5. I still want to go back maybe to f6 at some point. Who's knight f5? I thought that was a little bit... That was not quite right. A can go here. I mean, rookie 7 is a huge threat. Oh, but it's actually doesn't... I'm actually getting mated here. Yeah, he spotted it. And that's guy. That's why you guys are wrong about saying that he might be cheating because he he would not have found that move. Um, he would not have found rookie seven if he was. Let's take. Yeah, I can't win this. I messed this up. That was sort of the. I wanted to see if he would spot it. I mean that that I think is the proof that he isn't, because he would not have spotted that move otherwise. Just just off of my expression, there's no way he spots that move. 
I mean, that would, he'd have to be like, he'd have to be like the greatest poker player of all time to spot that. Okay, but he is actually kind of letting me get an open file here, which he shouldn't be. Oh, does he just have this and it's just a draw? Oh, it's just a draw. Let's go here. I mean, I think this king and pawn end game even is a draw, but I, I honestly don't know. I'm going to go here and check, maybe. Oh, I should have gone to E2, but check. Oh, is this a draw or not? Wait, maybe it is. Oh, oh, sorry. We, but we both, we both have, oh my God. We both have, uh, we both have, what am I thinking? We both have, um, I'm completely crazy. We both have double pawns. I forgot that I don't have, I thought my pawns weren't doubled. I mean. Just a draw. Uh, let me let me check this. Just a draw, right? That's frustrating. That was my chance really to get back there through that game. Let's see if there's anybody else on. I, I want to play someone else. I'll play Nihal if he wants to play, actually. I mean, it's. Yeah, I mean, he's not his IM level. I mean, my, my attitude would be much different. I was gaining plus three, plus four for every game, but at plus two, I'm just, I'm not beating him by enough of a margin. That's all. Um, I mean, he's losing 22 to four. I mean, that's not a good score, but because of the rating differential, it's like, I'm, my, my general attitude is pretty, I'm pretty unhappy about it. That's why. Let's go here in Queen C8. Yeah, 22 to, against, 20 to four against anyone where I'm gaining plus three, plus four, I would be very happy, obviously. But against this guy where it's like, I'm gaining, uh, I'm gaining nothing. It's nothing. Okay, I can play H6. He can go H5, but then I go F6, I think. Let's go C4. Let's go B5. A4, B4. Eh, it's fine. Go here. I want to go here. I'm going to go here to fix the pawns, actually. I'm kind of worried about this idea. Okay, Knight B4 is a very bad move. Uh, let's just go G6. I'm going to go A5. Knight 6 next move. All pretty good. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. And I'm going to start rolling it on the king's side. Question is, do I take or not? My instinct says I do not. So I'm just going to go King G7, play for B4, play for the big attack on the queen side. Okay, let's go here. I'm going to go B4 next move. And I think, yeah, he's way too slow here on the uh, king side. Trade, we take. Uh, this is definitely too much. Yeah, now I'm going to win this game. Okay, so I need to win three more games. Three more games to get back to where we started at. Technically. I mean, three is not enough to get right back to where we started at, but it's, it's close enough. Go here. Rook A1. I mean, he'll, he'll resign this game. This will be a nice quick game. So three more. three Back on the horse. Three to go. Fine. Three to go. Uh, he really is going to play this. Okay, let's go here. Go here. Thank you to Tavam MD for the seven months. 30, 35 Bezos bucks for the big boy and <laughs> dessert. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Um, What did I do wrong? I did something wrong. I'm going to go Bishop B5. Oh, I did something very wrong. I'm just worse. That's always good. To, good to see. He just goes E6. I take. I guess I go... Eh, I'm going to play D4. I don't know if it's right. It seems reasonable just to play like this. Just go here and take with the bishop, maybe. Okay, I just castle. Take with the bishop, go like C3, rookie one. Actually, it's starting to make some mistakes. Bishop C5, I really don't like, actually. Go here and take. Yeah, I really don't like what my opponent's doing here. He's, he's misunderstood the position. It's actually very unpleasant. Yeah, he's going to try to set up some kind of fortress here. Let's scoot my king out of the way. Is he really going to play h5? Is also a big question. Thing is, I need to be able to play on the queen side too. Because if he's going to play on the king side and just close it down with h5, I have to play on the... I, I do need to play. Okay, he's going to go there. So I'll go here. Just guard everything. g4, f5 is an idea. I think I'm just going to go here though. I don't know if G4 is a threat or not. I, I actually, I'm kind of perplexed as to why I did that. Let's go here. His bishop is very poor on B5. He goes H5, so let's go here. As long as I don't let him get the bishop in, I'm better. If I let him get the bishop in, then there are going to be problems. Okay, he just blunders again. Two quick ones. All right. 
two quick ones let's go two more to go two more to go and then two more to go that's all we that's all we got to do two more to go what did he play i forget he played some italian that i forget oh he played the uh scotch gambit right right mm -hmm. okay i'm gonna play this one with f6 it's a different line completely Uh, thank you to Guarner for the prime. Thank you so much to Guarner. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, takes on C6. This order is wrong. This is wrong because I take here, I think. Takes, 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 bishop e4. This is wrong. I made a mistake. Also, you guys, I'm not going to pre-move. In, in a normal Blitz game, I would pre-move B takes C6. But because I'm a little bit paranoid, even though I'm pretty confident he's not he's not sniping, and in, in a normal Blitz game, I would pre-move takes I expect him to take. But I'm not going to do it here just because there's that, like, 1% paranoia still in the back of my mind. Um, yeah, there's still, like, I, I'm, I, I'm, like, 99% sure nothing's happening, but still, I am a chess player, and I'm a little bit paranoid, even, even still. Yeah. Yeah, what, yeah, exactly. The one percent chance that he pre he he sees me pre this and he goes bishop g five. Mind you, the points would be worth it because that would actually like prove the point that he 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 is sniping. But I don't care. The points matter more than like proving the point, proving a point. Because yeah, he has that idea, and it's just like I mean, it's it's possible. Okay, this is actually a very weird position. Um, I don't even know. Rook b eight's a move. Bishop e four. I mean, this is a very complicated complex position. I'm going to go here and just take. We'll both have rooks on like g2 and b7 creating the right triangle, but I, I don't I don't know if it makes sense or not. I think I'm better cuz I can swing over. I mean, he can, I mean, he can try to castle into the big attack, but it's really a bit much, I think. Yeah, he's going to go that way, which is safe. So I'm going to go here, swing everything over and start to attack. Let's go here, attack the pawn. Swing the rook, bishop f7. I mean, this is close to lost, I think, for white. Uh, do I go here first, or do I play? I think I just go here first to touch the rook. I have h5. I also have rook f3. h5. Wait a second. h5, queen g6. I need to think for a second. Do I go to d6 or not? Okay, let's just go here and rook f7. I don't know if it's right, but it, it makes sense. Let's go here. I have rook f3. It feels too slow. I feel like maybe... Maybe I should have gone rook f7 in one go is what it feels like. I still have h5. I have rook f3, right? Rook f3. I don't see it. I hope I'm not blundering the game here. Bishop h6, I take... He goes rookie two. I think I'm gonna go Queen F7 allows Bishop H6. That's actually oh man, that's a very good move by him. Okay, I am I'm thinking too long again. Do I have rook H3? Maybe an H5? I think I do. Wait. Rook G7, I just take. Takes H5. No bishop moves. Queen g6, I take and check in here. Yeah, I think that works. Should be winning. Okay, we got the dub. One more to go. Okay, I'm going to play something super slow. I don't want anything open or exciting here. I'm just going to play super slow. Let's play like Kings in the attack, ready. All our good openings. Castle, go rookie one. Okay, I think, uh, I mean, rookie one, I can take. I can also play a3, c3. I'm going to go c3 here. It's d4 anyway. Okay, let's take. This order is slightly wrong, though, I think. Because this order, there's something wrong with this. 
there's something wrong i think it's b4 if i'm not mistaken b4 and takes and bishop a3 there's bishop g4 wait b5 knight before queen b3 looks crazy uh i think he just made a mistake just made a made a kind of a serious mistake maybe a4 bishop a3 knight c4 wait am i just insane here maybe i'm the one who's insane i thought a3 just traps his knight bishop e6 queen b1 knight e2 okay but i mean that's that's just losing go here and i just take Taking, taking. Am I get, gonna get to 100? No, I think this is gonna be the last game, you guys. Uh, let's go a4, knight c4. Very beautiful position. Knight c4, hit the queen. Bishop a3, hit the queen. Bishop d6, hit the queen. Bishop e5, and the game. And praise the Lord, hallelujah. I get back to 32 30. After all of that, uh, we get back. So I'm gonna take a short break, use the restroom, we'll come back.